Like if somebody told me that they, they, if they told you that they were making a trailer for a secret project for Konami, is that a spoiler for a spoiler for a spoiler? Yes. Hello and welcome back to the Level 7 Games Podcast, where we, John and John, talk about literally anything. This guy here is a professional editor. Small tweener. Why the hell are French Canadians making my game? And who's that guy? Thomas Fancy? Game reviewer. How to make it through a disaster, you know? Son of a... So much blood. That is... You want to hear some good news? For once? And this guy owns and operates Denver's best gaming stores, Level 7 Games. With four different kinds of oatmeal. And it's hot! Ah! If no one will listen. Ah! And we got something for everybody. I know all you kiddos out there love your damn video games, yeah? Yeah? Well, alrighty, let's get on with this. And every Thursday, we talk about pop culture, the gaming industries, and how they intertwine with our daily lives. Welcome back. Bullshit. God damn. Huh. That was dumb. <laughs> that was... No. Dude. What the fuck? Sounds like gonna happen right in the middle of the sound. I kinda oh, wish like... we had that on... Like, recorded that. Oh my god. Okay. We'll get into that and more this week on the Level 7 broadcast. Oh, were you recording? Yes. Oh, did you just turn it on? I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the Bayonetta boycott slash what the f- hell is happening now. We'll see. Boyonetta. Boyonetta. I didn't plug my laptop in. Oh. It's okay. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't need it. The Silent Hill trailers that I've seen, there's another one, by the way, called Townfall. Uh, Hocus Pocus 2... Uh, and our favorite upcoming holiday oh. is the question of the week. We're going to talk more about that. upcoming holiday. At the end. But let's begin. I think we got to go straight to the Silent Hill thing because... Yeah, that's the biggest news, for sure. Yes. For sure. And, like, we were just watching them. Uh, I think we watched Silent Hill F. We watched Silent Hill 2. And <laughs> did you want to tell what happened at the end of it? Well, we were just watching Dude, the Silent fuck. Hill 2 trailer... And at the very end of it, it's like the music is intensifying, and they're really like zooming in and giving you a lot of detail. You're like, oh, what's gonna happen? Like and then this fucking bright white spider Dude. crawls up on my microphone, and like my microphone's like right here, so it's right next to my eyeball, and I'm like staring at his <laughs> screen, and all of a sudden I just see a fucking huge spider in my periph. It's like, what the fuck? Smash it on the ground and then John Dude. killed it for me because he's my white knight. <laughs> that scared the shit no, out of me. Non racial. Of course, we're watching this video and then he like freaks out and whaps at something. I'm like, God, oh, what the fuck's happening? Yeah, dude. Dude. That is uh, not a good time to be uh, attacked by a spider. That got us both. That got us both really good. Yeah. Fucking spider. <laughs> Stupid fucking spider. But at the at the very the very least, at least it was a cool trailer. Dude, I think that. The fact that we were able to get freaked out by something just, like, random while, like, engulfed in these trailers. Yeah. yeah I think they're... it says a lot about them. True. That I'm I'm thoroughly excited and horrified to play these games. They've been working on this for a while. They must have been. Yeah. Did they, they didn't put any kind of date, right? Mm-mm. Yeah, figures. Although it says you could wish list it, wish list it now on your PlayStation 5. What is it? Does it, is is this all the way over? It looks like there's a couple seconds left. There might be. Let's see here. I just want to see. I want to see if it gives a just space bar. It. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, I see. yeah it, it was I going. See. I see. I see. Oh, Sorry. There's nothing. Well, so there's no date for that or Silent Hill F then, huh? No. And oh. I don't know if we should watch this one right now. Uh, but this is another one. Silent Hill Townfall. Let's watch it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna watch this one. Silent Hill Townfall. Why are you here? Glitchy. Glitchy TV. No. In this place, why are you here? You're to be punished. It's like a Game Boy. Yup. It's coming to the Game Boy this summer. You know what? I think you're right. I mean, we've done something so... It's one of those little portable TVs back in the day. I loved those things. We are stuck here in this place being judged by these people. But for you, I think it's more than that. 
I think you're here for some other reason. Man. And I don't want to be anywhere near you. Can you figure that out? Ooh. The fuck? Spooky. I just... Dude. So they're just like, Silent Hill, Silent Hill, Silent Hill. They're like, y'all want Silent Hill? Here's fucking Fine, six here's Silent Hills. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Here's a Silent Hill for all of you. You weebs, you anime nerds, you get Silent Hill F. For all you old school motherfuckers, you get Silent Hill 2 again. Silent Hill Redo. Silent Hill 2, the, the Electric Boogaloo. Right. And then, well, everybody like, the room wasn't Also bad, in right? 3. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, pretty good. Pretty good. they were all pretty good for a while, actually. And then, f for for all the, I don't know, murder porn people, you got the Townfall. Townfall. The, whatever that is. It's clearly going to be an X-rated horror porn. I yeah. mean, hey, what are you going to do? It's all about a TV, right? What are you gonna do? It's all about a TV. <laughs> Whoa, my gosh. Oh, bless you. Ooh, sneezy wonder. Excuse me. Sorry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yep. Maybe yes, that sir. should be the question of the week. Which one do you think you're going to play and or buy? Uh, F looked coolest to me. I, it does look very interesting, actually. It also looks spooky. It looks spooky as fuck. Dude. I don't like spooky. When her face just like fell, fell off there at the end. Yeah, spoiler, at the end of the trailer, her face <laughs> falls off. <laughs> don't Is worry. It... I'll put the spoiler alert before I say the spoiler. But can you, can you spoil a trailer? That's not. I think thing. so because they just came out today, and hopefully you guys will all be seeing this tomorrow. As long again as my computer doesn't crap itself, and I be, I just mean, isn't a trailer a spoiler just in nature? Yeah, well, we could spoil a spoiler or a trailer. Hmm. I feel like at some point the the uh, should, I don't know the distance should... you know matters. Like at which point. Like, if somebody told me that they, they, if they told you that they were making a trailer for a secret project for Konami, is that a spoiler for a spoiler for a spoiler? Yes. True. <laughs> right, right. It's so all just spoils something. They're like, I can't say anything, but I'm working on a project. That's a spoiler. Yeah. It's like, fucking, you could have surprised me. I could have been surprised. I could have been fucking surprised. You could have just waited until you were done and then been like, hey, uh, next month, you guys, here you go. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know why people <laughs> just don't understand that I like surprises. <laughs> you just love surprises, huh? No, I don't like surprises. Yeah. It's actually the opposite of what I like. Oh. Although I don't like trailers because then they set an expectation and then fail oh. to meet the expectation. I see. That's why there's no more demos. No more demos. There are demos again. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I just wish they'd start sending out the little discs. I just want them on disc. Mm. Like if I could get like a stray, like a new Astro Room, God of War. I, I don't know, man. Maybe Demos. Horizon. I have the Sealed Titan AE demo, a game that was never actually released. Oh. Yeah. On what console? PS1. PS1? Oh, one? Yeah. PS1? Yeah, dude. It's sealed demo disc for a game that was cut... So what what about that? What do you think that's worth? <laughs> At least four thousand I don't know. Homeless handshakes. There you go. That's it. Dude, I do know a lot of homeless people. Yeah? No. Oh. I know <laughs> one guy by sight. I have not talked to him. Hmm. He has a cancer survivor shirt, so I feel bad, but I don't want to talk to him. But if you wore a cancer survivor shirt, then you wouldn't feel as bad because he would assume you also maybe went through that. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Thrift stores, here I come. Oh yeah, do you think there's a lot, <laughs> do you think there's certain things that they're like, we can't put this out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did somebody donate this? It's just a police uniform, Legally. like a the legit <laughs> one. I don't know. Like, where does where does they draw the line on that kind of shit, too? That's a good question. What can't you buy at your local thrift store? Yeah, what's the things that they have to say? What's banned at the thrift store? S They're like underwear. They, yeah, uh, undies. They don't take probably, undies. Probably like. I don't think they take socks either. Yeah, I'm sure they've thrown a lot of dildos away. <laughs> I'm, yeah, and I'm sure one or two have slipped by into the toys section on accident. 
I like that you use the word slipped. I mean, <laughs> what other word am I supposed to use but, for that? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's it, you know, I I always had this. I wanted to work at a thrift store thing. Yeah, I think it would be. I think it would be fun for exactly one day. That's true, because then you would get to see how it all works. You'd get the thrill of just like seeing all the stuff, and you're like, oh, 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 oh this is all garbage. Yeah, <laughs> and then you have to go back the next day, and then you're like, oh man. Every day I come back, it looks more and more like garbage. There's so little games back here now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That would be the whole reason I'd want to go th- and do that, so I could get first dibs on games, but I wouldn't have to... Uh, I would not want to go through the rest of it. I remember when customers would have a... Like, they could make the valid argument to be like, I can just get this at a thrift store. I'd be like, yeah, you're right. But now... No. Uh, you can't. At all. No. No. It doesn't work like that at all. I have literally not seen a video game worth buying at the thrift store for at least a year and a half now. Really? Yeah. Do you still go? Oh, yeah. Really? I go all the time because I love looking for VHS tapes. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's just every, in each one, there's just that one corner that's like video game spot. Yeah. Which has also made it worse because they used to just be spattered into the CDs and that like in the, the DVDs. Yeah. And that's where you found the really good shit, because there'd be, like, four Dreamcast games in a row. But now they all know. Yeah. Everybody's trained. Well, the thing is, is it used to be older people working at the thrift stores who just didn't know what the fuck they were looking for. And now our generation is working at the thrift store, like, managing it and shit. And we're like, oh, we we know what everything's worth, because we are completely... Us 90s kids are super hyper-materialistic. Oh, yeah. It's bad. It really is. Like, we just care about stuff so much. So fucking much. All this I stuff, think... I love it. I would give up literally my friendship with anybody. <laughs> anybody, John. You fucking hear me? I'm taking all of this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to be my friend forever. <laughs> no! <laughs> um. uh, but yeah, because I think the us 90 kids, were we got stuck in that perfect spot where we could not change the channel like you can on streaming services, but they had perfected awesome fucking toy trailers. Yes. So yes. you were constantly fed these trailer or little commercials and stuff between Ninja Turtles and Transformers or something. Well, they and, the marketing was oh, just genius. They had the it's perfect. They had the, the books, the coloring book, the clothes, the the whole the whole screen. the lunch boxes and I thermos. Mean, the nineties cartoon era. Mm. I mean that was the that was the TikTok. You know what I mean? Like Ooh, 90s cartoons. That was our That was a good comparison. Yeah, we didn't have any way of like so we we since we couldn't like associate with each other directly well not even each other like uh, uh, meeting other people that like the thing you like is obviously fucking cool. Right. But they knew exactly how to be like these fucking turtles are shaped like people, and you love them. And I'm like, you're right. 100%. You are so right, and I don't know how you're doing it to me. So. Oh, did you get your first Ronin book, or last Ronin book? No. Is that this one? Yeah. Ooh. Speaking of turtles. Oh, that Dar is Sheeples. gorgeous. It's a nice one. Oh, he's fucking yeah. yeah, that looks so sick. Oh, my God. But anyhow. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. I read I read right. this page theory. one. Oh. The water is cold. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <We're> the water, <laughs> water is cold. Um But yeah, Ninja Turtles were fucking tight. But I, I heard this theory about the Ninja Turtles and, and, and this might just be from something or hundred percent true and you can probably tell me. Is that like the whole the weapon they get is supposed to be specific to like their personality. So like Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, because Raphael's, like, the most aggressive. They give him the defensive size. Mm -hmm. Because Donatello's, like, the most technologically proficient. They give him a stick. Yep, they give him the least complicated weapon possible. Yeah. And and then Michelangelo, they gave the nunchucks, even though they're the hardest to use and most, like... They require the most focus. They require the most, yeah, concentration. They gave him to Michelangelo to try to make him focus instead of being just so random and loosey-goosey all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then Leonardo's just because... He has the power to kill, but should he? His is the lamest one because he's the lamest turtle. I mean, but I mean, I, I mean, love Leo. Th- I mean, but at that point, if you put it that way, it actually adds some stakes to being the leader 
because if it comes down to it, like he's mm. he's the only one with the power to like fucking finish it. You That's know what I mean? That's true. That's a good fr- okay. I regret saying what I have said. I officially redact it. I just mean, like, if that's true, that that's how they built them, where it's like, he has to be the Russell Wilson. He has to be, like, a little corny mm. cornball. Yeah. Because then otherwise, he'd just be slashing everybody up. That's true. He would be da- dangerous. Yeah. Straight dangerous. True. He's the one that really should have become Shredder, not Raphael, you bunch of cocks. No, I'm kidding. Dang. Pretty sure that was a... Uh, Layered that wrote that storyline, and that was actually really good. I'm just joking. If you hear this, don't take me serious. Raphael became the, the Shredder. Whoa, dang, dude, that's old school stuff. I'm pretty sure it's in the tales of TMNT. I'm not finished with you. Damn, son, that's that deep. That's that deep. deep. That's that deep cut. That deep lore. Yeah, yeah. I am lore. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have the last Ronin now, all the hardcovers at the stores. Yes, we've got that, and then we also have like the complete collection of the original series. Which I didn't bring oh, that. Oh yeah, the uh, the. I didn't know you were waiting trade for that back. One too. Yeah, yeah. I thought no, you. No, I I actually have the hardback. Oh okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you not have that one? No, I, I was do. like, you definitely have that. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. It's honestly, books have been killing it. I mean, books are good. Books are tight, and it's like, not only are books cool, but they're also art now. So yeah. it's like almost like you're double cool. It's like I both read and I like art. Damn, look at me. I'm so fucking cultured. The fucking coolest right now. Straight up. Um, I don't know. And then also, like, I started... I, I'm on the second book of Demon Slayer, which I gotta get the third issue, but... Uh, the Oh, we got Chainsaw Man 1? Yeah, we restocked. The yes. only issue I think we're out of now is 13. It's either 10 or 13, but we have 1 mm. through 9 for sure, and then the rest, but we'll get it when it restocks. But anyhow, the first um, episode of Chainsaw Man released... So we oh. ordered a bunch of this because we're like, this shit's going to pop because this fucking is dope. Look, dude's got a chainsaw head and then he's got two chainsaws and he's got a little chainsaw dog. Right? Ever since Charlie uh, cosplayed as him, I was like, who the fuck is that? That sounds dope as hell. Yeah, look at that little chainsaw dog. Right? And he told me a little bit about him and now I'm like, oh, I got to read this fucking book too. Yeah, he's got a little ripcord tail and he yeah. like murders <laughs> demons with it or some shit. It's, they're not demons. I can't remember what they call them in this one, but anyhow. It's nice. So far, pretty interesting. I haven't watched the cartoon. I'm going to try to read them mangas. Because yeah. you can read one of these in like 30, oh, 45 man. minutes. It does not take any time at all. And they're sweet. It's a good read. Yeah. And uh, the other one I'm really excited about is the, I think it's the record of Ragnarok. Oh, yeah. I've like, Char only told me a little bit of the premise, and now I don't want to look at anything else until I can read it. He's like, just give me it. Apparently, that one's on back order right now. Figures. Ah. It happens. Tell we'll get it don't. eventually. Yep. Yep. But speaking of stuff that certain people like and others don't, Bayonetta. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've beaten the first two. Oh, have you? Yeah. So you re- you you like the Bayonetta games? Yeah. Th- I mean, they're awesome games. They're made by Platinum. True. True. Like they're they're phenomenal games. I um, just I'm not saying that they are are not. No, but... no, no. I just mean like it's surprising because they look so stupid, and and. They are fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. But it's that's the charm, right? Is it's like that, um it's like that uh kind of like a B movie, but a B game on it, purpose. Exactly. It's like a, a Suda fifty one game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh Shadows of the Damned or something like that, where it's like it's not take it's so fucking ironically corny that it's it's over the top to like kind of you have to, you know. Just embrace just, it. You just have to embrace it. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Except that it's going to be silly, but it's going to be fun silly. Exactly. And you're fighting these huge fucking gods and shit. Like, the, the boss battles are sick and epic. I mean, Platinum Games just knows how to make, like, epic-sized battles. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and their action games are good. So, I like them. I'm excited for part three. Well, crap. Now I might have to play Bayonetta. I've just never had the desire before. But now, that kind of sounds like my jam. I think you'd like it. Balls. <laughs> yeah, I mean... So many things I got to catch up on. Yeah, it's it's very, like, Devil May Cry, but then you get, like... You can, like, dodge through things, and then you get this thing called Witch Time, which basically is, like, a moment of invincibility. So you're constantly oh. trying to dodge through things, but then there's this unreal amount of combos that you can do as well. Your Spartan mode. Exactly. Well, no, you're constantly doing it. So you're, like, trying to be dodging through everything and not get hit at all, and then it ranks you at the end. So it's, like, oh. it's basically a, 
a Devil May Cry game reskinned as you're a British witch fighting God. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. And the government. It <laughs> I means same difference, right? Oh! Oh! I'm sure, somebody wrote a song about that. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> separate church and skate. <laughs> you can't do that. We're gonna get those awesome long freaking handlebars. That's true. You got to get the pews to skate down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just sanding down the pews, making them more comfortable. Pew pew pew. <laughs> That's what I don't know. Pews. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every time you finish one, pew pew. Perfect. Now that we've solved that mystery. Yes. Uh, so Bayonetta. We d- almost did not talk about the fact that Bayonetta had that weird voice actress. Yeah, the controversy thing. Controversy. Is that my phone? I almost moved on. My phone's just going wild right now. These guys I need guess to so. stop. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that shit's crazy. Like, so... Because, so, yeah, at first she was all up saying that she was only offered $4,000. So the original voice actress has played Bayonetta for the last 10 years, or whatever, eight years. For two games, though. Well, right? that and Smash Bros., and then she did voices for some other, oh, like, like, fill-in stuff. But she's been the the actress for Bayonetta this whole time. Okay. But she hadn't done any other jobs in between. So it's not like she had, like, an impressive... Resume? Resume or anything. It's like she just was Bayonetta, and I think she's just banking on being Bayonetta forever. mm and I, I don't remember the exact sum that they found out that she was offered, but originally she came out and made claims that they had only offered her $4,000 for this project. Which is crazy. Wait, I mean, but it, it's, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't, I don't know what a reasonable amount of money is, but it's like, you right. Know, if you think about it, it's like a week or two worth of work because it's like a script is written. You're in a booth. It's not like you're on set fucking and weren't people also talking about well what if she's doing motion capture or not doing motion she's capture not. yeah right uh, it was a whole thing but then i think recently we learned uh oh i should also mention that she was trying to call for a boycott because they weren't paying her what she was worth that's true and now we're learning that she was actually paid or offered a really like decent sum Right. What the heck was it around? Uh... Oh, here we go. They're, they're not pushing it because originally all the news outlets were like, rah, 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 we got to back up this. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. I can't believe that they would do her like this. This isn't fair. And then it's like, oh, because it's a fucking lie. Dude, stop talking about it. We got to stop talking about it. Yeah, exactly. It. <laughs> so they hide it. Yep, now it's hard to find all this shit. Oh, my shit died. I oh, told no. It, I knew it was going to die. But anyhow, they, they, they offered apparently... Uh, allegedly, they offered her more money than that, and she declined the role, and then they offered it to somebody else, and then she was like, but wah, I'm being it. I can't believe you're doing this to me. No, Uncle Andros. Ah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and now it's like, boo-hoo, lady, you fucking, you burnt the bridge, you dingbat, and oh. now she'll never get work again. What? Sources told Bloomberg the actor who said she was lowballed was offer at offered at least fifteen thousand, and she says that's a lie. Ooh, the plot thickens. Actually, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm sure there was a written offer. She already broke the fucking NDA. So it's oh like, yeah, she's never getting that job again. So yeah, at this point. At this point, just release the the original offer because it comes in written form. You have to sign a fucking contract, right? So and didn't they they ended up picking up a lady that was uh, more popular? Yeah, yeah. So she just has done a lot more games. But yeah, I don't. I'm not into the voice actress, voice actor. Like great work, guys. Fucking right. I was gonna. I love. I love it all, but I don't have the time to like get to know you all like celebrities and shit. Jennifer Hale. Mm. is the new one. You betcha. Which a lot of people know. I don't personally, but yeah. Yeah, I don't. Like I said, I know like Nolan North because he's been in five bajillion games and because he's been, you know, his name's just drilled into my head. So maybe oh, yeah. eventually I'll learn Jennifer Hale's name a little better. But I, I, again, I'm not, the. although I appreciate the work, like 
I would just as soon be as interested in the 3D animators. Right. The animation team as much as the voice acting team. I think they're equally out talented in different ways. So I'm not, I don't really, like, I don't know. I don't see the appeal of voice actors as much. Right. It's just not my thing. I mean, uh, except for, uh, they bring the characters to life. <sighs> and maybe I'm just a piece of shit. I don't think so. I might, uh, but uh, what I'm saying is, I think the entire development team, including the voice actors, are maybe not equally important, but there are definitely some. You know what I mean? Like the modelers, the character designers, the fucking the writers. Like, who's the most important in this hierarchy? Hierarchy of creating a game, and like, why is it the voice actors who become the celebrities because of the voice of the character? <gasps> you love this character. Well, this dude wrote it, and this dude fucking. I, I mean, I guess that's how it's always been, though, right? Like. Yep. It is what it is. But uh, a voice is a little different than, like, an actor-actor. Yeah. It's a little different. But at the same time, like, Rob Paulson has always kind of been one of my favorites, but that's because he was in so many things, like the Ninja Turtles, Animaniacs, like, G.I. Joe, and, like, everything for a while. Mm. That makes sense. And, and it's but, not that I don't respect the work. Right. You I'm just I mean? saying, I think each, like, g little group of people have a person. Okay. Is what I'm trying to say. So, like, you're uh, not going to know all of the voice actors. But you but know every, a couple. Yeah, everybody's got, like, either one or two that they might know really well. True. That's true. I think that's a good point. Yeah. It's like, I only play fucking Undertale. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I know uh, Felicia Day. Oh, well, there you go. That's all you need to know. That's my example. That's not me. I don't know who Felicia Day is. Who Who is Felicia Day? Nobody knows, except oh. for the people who play Undertale. Hold on, Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very confused. This is a real. This is a real meta joke. I'm. I'm saying I both don't like Undertale and I don't <laughs> like Felicia Day. And but you so, know both. <laughs> but I know about both of them enough to know that if I put them together, it's something that I double don't like. Mm. It's and the thing is, is I'm just a hater. I see. And I recognize that. But there's just certain things that I think... And I'm not saying Undertale's bad. And I'm not saying Felicia Day are bad. What I'm saying is I think they both are way too fucking popular. That's it. I think they... It's way too... <laughs> way too popular. <laughs> oh, Felicia Day! Yeah. Okay, I got you. And she was in Mystery Science Theater 3000 for a bit. It ruined it for I... me. I had to fucking not watch those... Or skip through the beginnings... Uh, I can see funny. that. I could see that. I do miss the uh, kind of the older evil geniuses, but they they have some fun time, uh, some fun skits in there too. In yeah, the newer well, ones. I never really liked any of that. I feel I never watched any of that. I just was like, give me the movie. I don't yeah. fucking care about any. I would skip right through it. That was when they did the fun. Every country has a monster song. Did mm -hmm. you see that one? That was a good one. No, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm a real piece of shit. Oh, again, okay. a hater. That's oh, fine. I just want a shirt that says hater. <laughs> dude, people would be like, what fucking hater, dude? Like, <laughs> That's a good shirt. That's a good shirt, dude. Hey, if you want a hater shirt, let us know. Go to hell. <laughs> uh, speaking of going to hell, Hocus Pocus 2 is finally out. I thought you were just going to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of going to hell. <laughs> bam, you just joker me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What were you going to actually say? I cut you <laughs> no. off. Uh, the Hocus Pocus 2 movie is out now. Oh, fantastic. Have you watched it? No. Dude, it's actually pretty fun. It's a, like, they let them be as ridiculous as I think, like, they were in the 90s. Sure. So they weren't trying to make it all, like, serious or, you deserve this retrospective look at your older witch ladies. And That's stuff. It. So it's still a kid's movie. Yeah. It sounds the same, like, tonally. But then there's a lot of parts in there that are actually, like, creepy. Mm -hmm. Where, like, them being witches is fucking creepy at points. Okay. You know, if you really let yourself get into the movie anyway. I mean, it's no, not, that's like, good. that I, I, creepy. I, I've heard mixed reviews. And, I mean, like, it's hard for a movie like that that has such a legacy to follow up. Yeah. And, and it, really meet expectations for a ton of people. So Right. But I feel like for... For both Krista and myself, we loved it. True. Like, man, we just laughed our asses off. It might also help that we were maybe high as fuck when we watched it. But True. 
That's true. It's good. Yeah. It's good. So it's important. It's important. You yeah. Know? It, it helps. The, the immersion. The immersion. You got to get in the right frame of mind, you know? That's right. Suspend uh, disbelief. Yes. Yes. Just trigger that tr- childlike brain yeah. to laugh at fart jokes. I never really liked Hocus Pocus that much. No? I mean, I didn't. Di- I hate her. <laughs> um, <laughs> hate her. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, I, the singing it, lady, I assume? It's pretty good. It's whatever. Oh, okay. I just don't like Sarah Jessica Parker's face. Something about it just bugs me. I could see that. I could see that. Sorry, Sarah. I, I know we're good friends, Sarah, but you got to understand. You see yourself sometimes. It's weird. <laughs> you see yourself sometimes. <laughs> I, what? That's just wasn't expecting that. That's yeah. pretty funny. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, you you know how it is. Yeah. We were hanging out with Sarah the other day. It's true. Yeah, S- SJP is what we call her on That's the right, streets. That's right, SJP. On the streets. Sip. Sip. <laughs> She's all like, holla! And I'm like, uh, what's up, SJP? Yes. Anyhow, carry on. (laughs) So there you go. I actually really enjoyed it. So I think people that are fans of Hocus Pocus, because I've definitely just been a Hocus Pocus fan this whole time. Alicia loves Hocus Pocus. She's doing Hocus Pocus for Halloween. She's Oh, she is? Yeah, she's going to be a Hocus Pocus. So it's like... That might be part of it too. Is like her and her sisters really like Hocus Pocus, and they really like the Sandlot. They oh. really fucking like them, and I'm like, <laughs> stop! You have to stop now. What's wrong with the Sandlot? Ugh. I guess if you How have to watch have that one a lot, it? I was gonna say I haven't watched that one in years. The best part is when you get to hear James Earl Jones talk, and that's at the very end of the movie. Oh. It's not fair. He's just like, Arr! you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> Damn, I blind. thought I was sitting next to James Earl Jones for a second. What can I say? I've been working on that <laughs> impression for a minute. You, you like your baseball? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> you like baseball? That's what, that's what he said, right? Like, he's like... I think so. Yeah, no. He's, it's been, like I said, it's been years. I can't remember now. I do have it on VHS. We'll just have to stop this now and watch it. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Oh, there was a weird moment like five years ago or so when everyone was doing that for some fucking reason again. I don't know, dude. I don't. Th- th- that movie to me is just like this. It's like the Fifth Element. It's like it's just got this weird s- place in society that stands out. It's like, mm. and it just resonated in the right way with the right audience. For the wrong reasons. I don't know. I, I it's For the not, wrong reasons. It's not like I hate that movie. It's just I don't like it as much as everybody else. And I'm just like, hater. Right. Yeah. No, I got you. Uh, that makes sense. Yes. It's just it's just funny to think that every single person has different movies for that. Yeah, what's yours? I don't know. That's a really good question. Now I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's like, what's the what's um, a fucking classic movie? Like, tell me you hate Forrest Gump, I'll swing on you. Oh, hell no, dude. I love Forrest Gump. Yeah. You're I mean, a fucking crazy person if you don't love Forrest Gump. Yeah, if you wouldn't have sex with Forrest Gump, get the fuck out of my house. I mean, if you wouldn't give him a, a hearty handshake. Oh, okay. That's what I meant to say. I, I can give a hearty handshake. Yeah. <laughs> but... I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. See, I was even going to say Titanic, but I was like, no, that's actually a good movie. It's okay. corny as fuck. And it's, o- nah. it's okay. It's but, okay. I mean, I just like that Billy Zane's in it. Right? It's so good in there. That's the best part. You're just like, ooh, you're such a sleazeball, such Billy a Zane. Ooh. There's always got to be the man that gives the lady just enough reasons for it to be okay to fuck someone else. <laughs> yeah? I mean, you're not wrong. That is kind of the that story is of every humans. rom-com trope ever. Yes. Yeah, it, in the one in, in all of the ones where the fiance decides to f- fuck up the popper. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, wait, you were in a relationship with this dude for like 8 years. But I didn't want to be daddy. Oh, I want to oh, I want to sleep with Leo. <laughs> Me too, actually. You know what? I mean, fuck it. You ain't wrong. I'm too old for <laughs> it. I'm too old for him though. That's true. Yeah. We're both too old. Yep, he wouldn't have me. He wouldn't have me. You asked, too. I did ask. Oh. I sent him a letter, and he sent me, he checked the box, no. Yep. It was one of the sadder days of our lives. He put a little, like, little heart, though, that was like, 
you know, oh, I, I still, forgot the heart. I still love you, but I don't want to. Like, I don't want to smash. Yeah, I appreciate you, <laughs> but no smash. <laughs> she just hates that I play Kirby. Yeah, it's whatever, dude. It's messed it's, up. You know, it's whatever. Uh, but speaking it's of, just because I'm not as bangable <laughs> as the last host. Ah! <laughs> G4. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Sorry. Dang it. Sorry. No, you're good. I just, I know I have some of those movies, but I can't remember what they are right now. Avatar. Yeah, I, I could see that, but it's... Because there's, like, my wife you, likes Avatar. You don't like my it, My mom though. likes Avatar. Like, I don't dislike it. That's what I mean, though, is it's like... But... Yeah, I guess that's true. That's right? true. It's like, I don't it, dislike the Sandlot. I'm just sick of it. Yeah, but like... But Avatar's, like, seven hours long. Dude, it's so fucking long. And then they horse fuck each other i guess pretty much mm. with that hair that he just shoves oh, into the bird yeah and then let's like uh why is that this uh, uh. <laughs> imagine imagine if you had to do that to a horse to ride it you had to you know get a little bit of penetration every time I don't, that's what they're doing i mean that's <laughs> that's why they kicked me off the farm actually <laughs> <laughs> they're that, like they're like look like you're a city boy after all <laughs> <laughs> and I, yeah yeah. Um, the but, horse never complained. <laughs> he never gave me a nay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. But... <laughs> just got a couple of those. Yeah. That and the guy that uh, that's the main character, he always just kind of bugs me. Again, not because he's doing a bad job. Are you talking about Sam Worthington, the most fake name of all time? Yes. <laughs> The fucking oh, Sam Clash of Titans. I barely open my mouth when I talk. And one of my eyes are so squinty all the time. What kind of... Am I British or Australian? What am I? He's Australian is the answer. Oh! Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah. He is... Mediocre. He, he Alicia, does it. He... Alicia likes him a lot. Really? She's a big fan of Sam Worthington. Oh, no. She's like, Sam Worthington <laughs> and Josh Brolin. Those are the two. That if I ever see them, I'm just going to have to start swinging. You're going to have to start swinging? Yeah, just be like, you back off my woman! And they'll be like, stop. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that might be the... Really one of the only ones. I don't... You'd bang Josh Brolin too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck that is. You don't know who Hold Josh on. Brolin is? God Josh Jake. Brolin. What? Goonies, fucking uh, everything else. <laughs> everything else, he said. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Everything <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah, dude. I see. <laughs> I just didn't know his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like how I just said everything else? And you're like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> he isn't everything else. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit. Goonies, Deadpool, Sicario, No Country for Old Men. Fuck. Yeah, he's a, he's a strong. Men in Black. Strong lad. Oh, God. He was K. He was K. Yeah, he is Thanos. You son of a bitch. Yeah, he's Thanos, bro. Oh, he's Thanos. They should have made him look more like him and less like Thanos. Hmm. Because then I would have been like, oh, I like that guy. Yeah, that guy's cool. Purple chin guy's just... <laughs> purple chin man. Come on, you guys. Just hit him. Yeah. Uh, Dune. Oh, yeah. Games. <laughs> Fuck, what isn't he? True G Grit. W. Sin City. Yeah, dude does everything. He does action. He does drama. He does thriller. He does fucking porn. Whoa. I don't think he does porn. Alicia, <laughs> Alicia wishes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I'm sure a lot of people do, but crazy. I'd watch it. <laughs> I'd nah. see what's going on. Yeah, I'd look at it up close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but last topic of the week. I'd watch it on half speed. I'm trying to think of like the funniest <laughs> way of... <laughs> <laughs> I'd grab a bag of chips for that. Mm, yeah, you bet. Mm. Sit back and just take a little tumble down that lane. <laughs> Anyhow. Um but yeah. What with the the holiday season coming up. It it's just <laughs> You uh, bet. It's, <laughs> it's both exciting and a pain in the ass. True. All at the same time. So some people prefer Halloween, mm. some people prefer Turkey Day, True. some people prefer Christmas, or Yule, or Winter Break, or whatever. Christmas Mahana Kwanzaa? Yeah, you know, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Do you remember Christmas yeah. Mahana Kwanzaa? So which, which one of the seasons is your favorite holiday, I guess? They're all in the same season, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. Which holiday season is the season for you? Mm. Mm. I don't know. I think I think I gotta go with Thanksgiving because it's the least involved, and I'm a mm. real piece of shit. That makes sense. It's just like I have to do the least. There's <laughs> Not less the piece decoration. of shit part. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that made it sound. No, no, no. You're right. Oh God. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, just, just put that dagger in my back. For God, me. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it, you just go somewhere and you eat, and maybe you dress nice, or maybe you dress less nice. I maybe mean, you're just like more comfortable than ever, and you're like, you know what? I'm wearing the clothes that don't fit me, and they're gonna by tonight. Right? You gotta wear the in like the bad the, way. The uh, the sweatpants, <laughs> mm, like uh, stretchy pants. Yeah, stretchy be, pants. Stretchy waist. Oh, you get the fancy pants. Oh, you gotta get the stretchy waist, dude. It's all about the stretch. Not on these ones. These aren't stretchy waist. No, I'm kind of pudging on these ones. They're a little tight. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, I. It's very complicated now because I used to always just hate Christmas or Yule or whatever. Christmas is the season. It's fun. And like we get it. There's a lot of other. There's a lot of other holidays within that, but it. Christmas is the big one. Right, right. It's the big one. Uh, so I used to always just hate that one because, you know, I was a dirty little asshole when I was a kid. So I felt like I never got anything I wanted, which I totally did. True. Such a dick. Mm. And, then, and then I realized I was a dick. And then I felt bad about getting presents for a long time. And then I had kids. And now it's like super fun again because they're having a lot of fun. So Christ- yeah. Christmas is complicated. But Halloween... Uh, and Thanksgiving are, uh, they're just hard to pick from. I love both of them. But uh, ha- Halloween's okay. It's f- it, Halloween always seems better than it actually is, though, is the problem. I feel like Halloween isn't just about the day. It's about, like, the build-up, too. The school. You get to, yeah, like, you, you get to go to the school to have the fun, like, carnival stuff. You get to watch scary movies all month long that I never get to watch. It, like, it's acceptable acceptable to watch Nosferatu right now. I mean, and I think nowadays is just different. Like, well, again, this is like a 90s kid thing where it's like some of the things didn't come on TV until one time a year. Yes. And so if you didn't have the fucking VHS, which most of us didn't have a Nosferatu fucking VHS, yeah. right? Right. So you'd have to wait till Halloween and you're like, oh shit, new horror movies. And you'd watch like TNT and they'd have their fucking 40 days of Halloween or whatever or some right? bullshit. Or like, yeah, yeah. Just and then the, you'd have like the Halloween marathons. Yeah. And then they'd always get the three and you'd be like, what am I doing with my life? They're not showing uh, one of the Charlie Brown. They're not showing the Great Pumpkin this year. What? I what mean, heinous act has caused them to not do that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I Is it because he makes fun of Santa Claus for a second? I think it's just because it has Santa. I don't know. I think. Really? Society just hates stuff. That sucks. I know, but it's not okay to, like, be anything. <laughs> you can't be anything anymore. You have to be nothing. I hate that. Yeah. Why? <laughs> well, because nothing is safe. Well, fuck being something safe might sometimes. Hurt you. Hey, something might hurt you, but nothing can't hurt you. I mean, that's not true. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what people feel. If, you, if you're nothing, you have nothing to fight for. If you well, believe in nothing. You're just messing with my brain. Hey, man. I'm talking about... Hey, man, I'm just saying. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the Charlie Browns. I freaking, even the Christmas one, when they they have, like, that whole, like, verse and everything uh, from the Bible. Which, I'm sure that's, yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I mean, yeah, like, it, it bugged me for a minute when I stopped being Christian, Christian if you were wondering uh, why that is, why I don't like that stuff anymore. Christian Slater. Right, right. But, uh, <laughs> God damn. Sorry. I thought of that family guy thing where he's like, I'm in a Hollywood film with Hollywood hunk Christian Slater. And he's like, yeah. that's where my head went to. Get to see your butt. <laughs> yeah. That's like, why I just brain farted. I'm sorry. Super hard. <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, but yeah, I freaking love those still. And I mean, my kids love them. Stuff's cool. Yeah. I don't know. People don't like things. Things have connotations. Things have meaning. People. That's so annoying. Blah, blah, blah. Let people have their things. Why not? Well, I mean, because people are like me. Hater. Ah. Fucking haters. Uh, People can have their things. I'm just going to talk shit about it. (laughs) Right. 
No, I got you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, definitely Thanksgiving. You go food, you go home, that's that. You don't gotta you fucking gotta watch some football. You don't gotta like clean up all the present shit. You don't gotta like open stuff. You don't gotta like put things together. You don't have to buy things, wrap it, put it under the tree, wait time, fucking then unpack it. See, realize that people didn't really want that shit to begin with. Then you're like, <laughs> why did I wait so fucking long to give this to you if you don't even like it that much? And then they're like, no, I really do like it. And you're like, oh, you do like it. Okay, cool, cool. My bad. That's just my anxiety. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's uh, you know, I'm not much of a reactor because I have my own anxiety. And you're like, whoa, dude, we both have anxiety, and it's like everybody has anxiety. And then you're like, holy shit! Happy Christmas, hey. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Happy Christmas, Harry. No, oh my gosh, presents are the worst. That's so awful. I hate them. I hate giving them. I hate getting them. I hate the whole fucking. I mean. I like giving presents, but not like when people expect them. I just want to be like, hey, check it out. Here's that book you were thinking about. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, sick. It's like, sweet, thanks. And that's that. Like, <laughs> cut and dry. If you make it any longer than that or add more pageantry, the expectations just dial up. Right. Yeah. It gets ridiculous. <sighs> and with kids, it's super hard oh, because God. they fucking change their minds so fast. They're like, I want... Taco stand, and you're like, okay, I got you taco stand. And they're like, no, I want ice cream stand now. Uh. Like, <laughs> fuck, damn it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, just expects uh, Nerf guns now. It's good. If I it's mean, not a Nerf gun, he is legit disappointed. It like takes a while before he's like, oh, I see. Not all presents are Nerf guns. <laughs> he just thinks every present. He just is- assumes every present is supposed to be a Nerf gun. <laughs> so when he doesn't get one, He's, like, super disappointed, and he's actually getting good about, like, trying not to be visibly disappointed. He's just like, oh, the exact thing I wanted, but Uh, not the thing I expected. Some pants. Cool. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That, yeah, that happened uh, just over. (sighs) I, um, I shit my pants. I definitely shit something. I'm surprised you didn't smell it sooner because it literally happened before we started. Oh, I just wanted to see how long it took, and you never noticed. It was just the fact that it started to dry. Oh, yeah. I I mean, yeah. Sorry, still in the diaper phase with one. Oh, true. So that's true. So anyhow, yeah. Uh, what the heck were we talking about? Josh Brolin. Favorite holiday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, Thanksgiving. That's that. Sweet. Do you agree? Uh, uh, I'm going to have to go with a very, very close Halloween over Thanksgiving. Ooh. Just because I love... It's love, a spooky ooh. Yeah. I just love all the build up to it. And mm. then the day of is always really fun. See, I I always get to the day of, and that's when I'm like, it's too cold. Or yeah. there's not enough doors with lights on them. It just <laughs> feels like... And then I'm like, why am I fucking walking around like a dingbat? There's like 40 people following me around. They're so slow. And then yep. I gotta like hold a kid's hand now. I'm like, I'm trying to get this fucking candy, my guy. Let's go. Who's talking about, why are we trying to enjoy the night, the experience <laughs> of being with each other? I'm trying to fucking get this candy bag loaded. What What else is really cool is that now some people do uh, trick or treat for the parents. So a couple times I've gotten like some beers. I've, I've, I've and, seen that. Yeah, yeah, there's this one. We always go by Alicia's grandma's house. And uh, there's this one house where they always just have, like, a little party in the backyard. And they have, like, eggnog with whiskey or rum or whatever. And they're just like, here you go. And they have candy and then shit for adults. And I'm like, well, there you go. There you have it. You you guys have a wonderful time. You are one of the greats. You're a great. Fantastic. Goated. So, yeah, that's the question of the week. Which one of the holidays is your favorite out of this holiday season? These are the fucking options. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and we're just going to say Christmas season just because it's easier because then otherwise you got to put like That's Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. You can put Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. Can I? I th- Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa season, if it'll fit. I'll try. I think that's a I think that's a good middle I'll try. Yeah. Middle ground. If it works, we'll do it. If not, uh, you know, we're doing what we can. <laughs> We're doing everything. Oh my god! Lower your expectations. <laughs> okay. Well, um, so fine then. Yeah. I'm interested to see. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of Halloweens just because we're right in the middle of it. I don't like Halloween. 
It feels like a I, lot. Of, it just feels like a lot of work. You gotta literally just go walk around. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> All right. Before we get back into that, I think we're going to cover a lot of the same stuff. What do you mean? I don't know. True. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, though, right? Yes. That is everything. That's it. That's so, everything. Until next time, official sign off. Official sign off. Farewell. And good night. Oh, I was waiting for it.